I'm Craig from Integrated Physical Therapy and this is Brittany. We're going to talk a little bit today about the ever popular psoas, the hip flexor muscles that sit from our T11 vertebrae all the way down into the inside of our hip and down into our groin. Now oftentimes we hear in Instagram posts and social posts, stretch the psoas, work the psoas. The reality is that's only part of the puzzle. The reality is we need to work on the timing of how much the hip flexors work in coordination with the hip extensors. First thing though what we got to do is we got to test to see if the hip flexors in fact are tight. And that's a word I hate to use, but we're going to use it for now. Tight as opposed to over contracted or inaccessible. So a very easy test we're going to do, Brittany and I are going to show you right now. It's called the Thomas test. And what you can do to test yourself very simply is by sitting on the very edge of the table. You're going to hold on to one knee and then you're going to lay yourself down very slowly. So we're going to help Brittany lay herself down and what will happen is we're going to have the opposite leg, in this case her right leg, just soften and relax. And you can notice you can pretty much drive a truck underneath this hip here. That lets us know that this right sided hip flexor group, that can include the quads, it can include the psoas muscle group, even the abdominal group, that is either overactive at this point or we'll call it tight for now. So in the next film we're going to go through, well what do we do about that? There's some manual releases that we can do here in therapy, there's also some releases that you can do at home both in a passive and active and active assistive way. We're going to talk to you guys all about that, and uh, that's going to be our next film. Have a great night. Talk to you guys soon.